has the traditional cyclist diets changed? In the past, for cyclists, it was all about carbohydrate, carbohydrate, carbohydrate. And still today, from a fueling point of view, carbohydrate is essential for you as a rider to get what you're wanting from your training and your racing. But we understand now the importance of protein. And really, as a rider, what you're doing when you're training, you're asking your body to change, you're asking your body to adapt. And a lot of riders in the past have thought that if they take protein, that means bigger muscles. Whereas actually, what the protein does for you as an endurance athlete is not make bigger muscles, but makes a better functioning muscle. When we look at the muscle, we've two types of protein in there that we're looking at changing. There's the size, or the, the myofibers, and then there's the mitochondria, which is the, which is the energy plant within the muscle. And as an endurance rider, it's that energy plant that you're wanting to boost. And when we're training, the training that we do is asking the body to increase that energy plant, that mitochondria. And we need protein to get those changes, to get those adaptation. So for cyclists, one of the big changes over recent years has been this understanding of not only put to the need for fueling, but also for the need for recovery and the value of protein that that provides.